You can improve your life drastically just by changing the way that you react emotionally to the circumstances around you. If you can replace having a negative mindset and replace that with a positive mindset, then you'll be happier overall. You'll have more energy. You'll have better health. Uh, you'll have more friends. People will be more likely to want to be your friend and people will be more likely to want to do business with you. And you'll also get more inspiration. I mean, if you can try to think of a time when you were in a really bad mood, you were mad at the world and you were pitying yourself, and all of a sudden you came up with a great idea, how many times has that happened to you? My guess is the answer is never. It certainly never happened to me. So if you want to be happy and successful, then adopting a generally positive mindset is going to work wonders in getting you to that place. So in this video, I'm going to show you some specific steps that you can take to having a more positive outlook in life. Now anybody who's known me for very long probably knows that I spent most of my life complaining. I was a very negative person for a very long time and I remember when I was, I was probably 16 or 17 years old and one year I went to a summer camp with my church group and I was at summer camp which is like the most fun thing that I got to do the whole year and I remember I was complaining about something and this little girl who's probably like 12 or 13 years old said something like, you're so negative all the time. And I was pretty angry about that. I mean, at that time in my life, I was definitely not good at taking criticism. But after I finally calmed down, I realized that she was absolutely right. I was horribly negative. And not surprisingly, people didn't really want to be my friend at that time. And so I've basically spent the rest of my life from then until now slowly overcoming that. And instead of finding everything to complain about, because God knows there will always be things to complain about. No matter how good your situation in life is, there will always be something that you can complain about. So I've, I've had to uh, do a lot of work on switching off of that default mode of complaining about everything to getting into a positive mindset that's actually serving me and actually making me happy in life and actually bringing me towards my goals, the things that I want to accomplish. The truth is that nothing is really good or bad uh, until you interpret it as such. There are facts and facts are neutral. Your reaction to those facts can be either positive or negative and whether you react positively or negatively to those facts is entirely your choice. The truth is that we as limited human beings just do not have the amount of information. We do not have the perspective to know if something is ultimately good or bad. We know that something feels good or feels bad in the moment, or we know that something is helpful or unhelpful for our very short-sighted, short-term goals, but we do not know in the long run if something is good or bad. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, you're finding it helpful, please do me a big favor. Hit the thumbs up button because it makes the YouTube algorithm like me better. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you're the first to get all my new videos. And also, as just a little token of my appreciation for all you guys who supported me on YouTube, I'm giving you a free cheat sheet, which I'll put a link in the description below, all about the eight daily habits for success, happiness, and spiritual fulfillment. I think you guys will really love that and it's completely free. Now, if you're a Christian, if you believe in the words of Christ, and this is just one of a, a zillion different ways that having faith will help you, propel you through life, but if you believe in the words of Christ, then you believe that everything that happens in your life is for your own good, or at least potentially could be for your own good, depending on the way that you react to it. And one of the best things that you could possibly do to have a more positive outlook in life and therefore to have a more positive life is to have that faith that everything, even the th things that seem negative in the moment are actually working out for your good. I actually uh, I just bought this necklace the other day. You can see it's uh, a little mustard seed inside. Just something to remind me because Jesus said that uh, with just a mustard seed worth of faith, you can tell a mountain to jump in the sea and it will do it. So a mustard seed is just this tiny little thing that you can barely even see. So this is just a little reminder for me when my faith is weak that that's all I need, just that tiny little bit. 
But regardless of your religious beliefs, regardless of what you regard is the ultimate truth of the universe, if you can learn to treat everything in your life, including the circumstances that seem negative on the surface, if you can learn to treat everything as positive, then your life will get massively better as a result. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And this will work whether you have faith specifically in Jesus or not. And you know, it reminds me of that, that expression, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And I always thought that expression didn't make any sense at all, because the, the implication is that somebody giving you lemons is a bad thing. <laughs> like, people pay good money for lemons. People go to the supermarket and pay their hard-earned money in order to get those lemons. Like, why would you think it's a bad thing if somebody gave you lemons? But <laughs> anyway. Here is the specific challenge that I'm going to give to you, and I will be doing this as well. I will be doing this along with you because I always need help uh, becoming more positive. So for the next 14 days, what I want you to do is every time you catch yourself being unhappy about anything, just force yourself to come up with situations and scenarios in which that very thing that you're unhappy about could actually work to your benefit. So let's use an example that's pretty likely for a lot of people right now. Let's say you lose your job. Well, losing your job seems like a bad thing, but what if because you lose your job, you have all this time that you can study and you can make something better of yourself, and then once you've learned this new skill, then you can go back and get a new job making twice as much money. Or maybe you lost your job because your relationships are not as good as they could be, and now that you have all this time at home with your family, you can build your relationships. Or maybe you lost your job because maybe you had a bad boss and a career that was making you miserable, and you felt like you were stuck to it, so you couldn't, you couldn't let go and try for something better because you were afraid. So you got let go. Life happened to you because you were unwilling to do it yourself. Every time something happens to you, every time you're tempted to complain about something, think about how that thing could actually be good. So maybe you're feeling pain or discomfort or uncertainty. That could be a good thing. Like Jesus said, blessed are those who suffer. Why? Because suffering prepares you for greater tasks. In fact, one of the, the greatest uh, predictors of how successful somebody is going to be in life is how much pain tolerance they have, how much tolerance they have of being uncomfortable. Because if you can get through the uncomfortable times and you get hard and tough and you can get through uncomfortable circumstances, those are the sort of circumstances that you are going to need to push through if you want to do something big in life, if you want to serve your ultimate purpose. The more pain you take, the higher your pain tolerance becomes and the stronger you become. So there's a lot of ways that even unpleasant feelings can be good for you. Another one is loss. Like I said, if you lost your job or maybe you lose your house or you lose something that is dear to you, yes, it hurts, but think about how it could be positive. Maybe you lost that thing to make room in your life for something better. That's the whole point of the story of Job, which is one of my favorite stories in the Bible about a guy who's rich. He has it all, so he thinks, and then he loses everything. And he's tempted to curse God and die, as his wife eloquently puts it. But no, he stays faithful. He keeps his faith. He keeps his eyes focused on the positive. And so instead of just dying in a stew of his own self-pity, he ends up getting it all back and more. So the things that he lost made way for something even better. And you see, the reason that I keep coming back to religion in this is because it's already been figured out, right? The, the religious traditions had this figured out thousands of years ago. We don't have to go reinvent the wheel. We don't have to rediscover all this stuff. It's already there. Another thing to look at positively, and this one is really, really difficult for me, but another thing to look at positively is people's behavior. When people are nasty to you, when people insult you, when people steal from you. In my opinion, it's easier to look at the positive when it's something that's an act of God or it's something that's kind of impersonal to you. But when somebody does something nasty to you, that's when it's really difficult, in my opinion, 
to think positively about it because you just want to hate that person. You just want to be angry at that person. But if you can recognize, like I talked about in my last video, uh, they know not what they do, to quote Jesus again. Every person in this world is on his own track towards getting better, towards moral evolution. And yes, some people are, are behind on that track and those people are going to be nasty to you. But what those people mean for evil, God means for good. And that pain and that loss and that suffering that is brought onto you from other people's nasty behavior can make you tougher, can make you stronger, can give you an opportunity to practice your patience. It can make you better in every single way. So recognize that even when somebody does something bad to you, that can still work out for your benefit. And by the way, I hope that you've gotten the point by now that when, I, when I'm talking about looking at things positively, I'm not talking about being in denial. I'm not saying you're just going to ignore the bad things that are happening. No, I'm saying you recognize the facts of what is happening. You recognize that somebody did something bad to you in this case, but after you recognize it, then you choose to interpret it in a positive light. And now the last and the biggest thing that we need to learn to interpret positively is death. And it's really, really hard to interpret death positively unless you have a faith in something bigger than just this physical life. But if you can do it, if you can have that level of faith, if you can recognize and believe to the bottom of your soul that death is just coming home from the vacation, it's just the end of one segment of life and the beginning of another one, if you recognize that death is just stepping out of the simulation into the real world, then you recognize that death is a good thing. Death is to be welcomed. Death is nothing to fear. And the sooner you can come to this realization, the better you are going to be because even if you're young and even if death is probably far off in the future, you're always gonna have that lingering anxiety if death is something that you fear. If you think that death is the end of your being, you are annihilated as an entity and you will turn into nothing, then yes, clearly that's something to fear. But if you have something positive to look forward to on the other side of death, then you will be so much stronger, so much tougher, so much more willing to take risk and face uncertainty. And you will be much, much, much more likely to succeed in whatever you do in this life. So here's what I recommend. If you wanna do this exercise with me, Make a commitment right now that for the next 14 days, uh, you are going to put your utmost into recognizing every time that you think something negative and turning that around into a positive or multiple positive interpretations. So go ahead and write down exactly how you're gonna do this. Have some sort of reminder system. So if you have a, a phone with a calendar that can remind you every day, that works. Or um, for my productivity system, I use an app called Remember the Milk that's free. Take a look at this video for all the info about that. Or you could just put a post-it note that you're gonna see every day, but write it down somehow and give yourself some sort of reminder system. And then if you do this for 14 days, then it'll become a habit and you will become a consistently more positive person than you will before and your life will reap massive benefits as a result. So if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna to commit to doing this with me for the next 14 days, let me know in the comments, just writing it out, writing it out publicly will give you a little bit of accountability which will make you more likely to succeed. And then after 14 days, come back to this video and tell me in the comments how you did and how your life changed as a result. And if you appreciated this video, then I think you'll also really like this video about how everything in life that seems to happen to you actually happens for you. And of course, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button.